Half Life. Like the game, right? Uh, yeah, exactly like the game. Or what happens to you when you fall asleep during my class? <laughs> your, your life gets reduced by half. Um, not really. So Half Life is pretty straightforward. It's exactly like it sounds. You may have heard of it before. It's when something decays. There's less of it and less of it and less of it. And eventually, half of it's going to remain. <laughs> so half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of the sample to decay into something else. So, yeah, you can kind of see the picture there. It's an exponential decay. Yes, I love exponents. Um, when radioactive elements spontaneously break apart into smaller atoms and other particles, they'll just change into something, but they do it at a constant rate. And that allows us to mathematically calculate how much is left. And there's your definition. The amount of time it takes for half of a substance to decay. T half, one half. Half life. It's a time. Time two, and half of it. Half of the time. Time time for half of it to decay. Half lives can be really short. So for like polonium 214, it's only 163 microseconds. That goes really quick. So that one will be gone within a matter of seconds, actually. Most of it will be gone. Or it can be 4.46 billion years like uranium 238. And that one takes a long time to decay. Fun fact, uranium is actually what's mined for nuclear power plants. Yes, it Just is. Just like coal is mined for coal burning power plants. All right, fun fact. So here's a little visual. Let's say there are 20 orange dots. And if you look up at the top there, next Wait, to the title. are we just saying there's 20 orange dots, or are there really 20 orange dots? No, there's 20 orange oh, dots sweet. there. <laughs> Please pause and count the 20 orange dots. Good job. Okay, welcome back. The orange ones, welcome back. The orange ones are going to decay into the green dots that you see up at the top of the screen. If I start out with 20 of them, and they're all going to go at different times, you don't really know which ones are going to decay when. It's kind of mysterious like that, but once they start decaying, after a certain amount of time, one half-life... Half of them will be gone, right? Half of them are gone. Yes. Now, if you would like to pause and count that there are indeed ten green ones and ten orange ones, you may. Uh, if you look up here in the corner, it says that the half-life of an orange dot is three years. It's a three-year half-life. So it took three years for half of those to decay, down to ten. Okay. So what's going to happen if there is another half-life? So another 10 will decay, right? Half, that's what the half was before, right? Yeah. No, it's actually only half of the 10. Oh, so there's five. okay. So it's an exponential decay. It's not half of the original. It's half of whatever you started with at the last half-life. Uh, it still takes three years, but less of them are going to decay. You only get half of the half. Um, so I started with 20. And then I had 10, and now I have 5. And it took 6 years to do that. So if we wanted to sort of extrapolate what our information is here, if we went through another half-life, we would have half of them gone, so that's we'd only have 2.5 left. Two and a half left. There's a lot of variables in here. Think about it like a story problem. We have the total amount of time. There's 3 years and 3 years that took 6 years to decay um, through two half-lifes. Is we have how many particles we started with. We started with 20, we ended with 5. You could also talk about how much of the products we have. We had the green ones. We didn't mention that at all. but um, So we started out with zero green ones. And then we had 10 of them, and at the end there were 15. So that kind of went backwards of the decay of the orange ones because they were being formed. So think about it like a story problem. Um, Set up these charts, and you can kind of figure out which variables you're trying to solve for. Let's look at an example. Thorium-208 has a half-life of 3.05 minutes. Did you pick that one just because of that new movie Thor coming out? No. Completely uh, unrelated. Uh, I don't think Thor is made up of thorium, but he is from another universe, so it, we'll, we'll pretend like that's like in his blood. We just nerded it up a little bit for you. Yeah. That's how he controls his hammer. No idea. How long will it take 120 grams to decay to 7.5 grams? And how many half-lives is this? Ooh. So what we can do is think about how much is gone after one half-life. So we go from 120 grams down to 60 grams in one half-life. One half-life. And that one half-life took 3.05 minutes. OK, 
Okay, let's keep going. We're not down to 7.5 yet, so... Another Half-Life, 3.05 minutes later, you have 30 grams. Okay, That's... so about six minutes has gone by. A third one, you get 15 grams. Okay, still not down to 7.5. Half, half of 30. And a fourth one, I think that one will do it if we can get there. 15 divided by 2, 7.5 grams. Okay. So, it looks like it has taken us four half-lives. And Which, that's the answer to the first question, or one of the questions. How many half-lives is it? Four half-lives. Um, and then we also want to know how long it will take total. So total time, if you take 3.05 and multiply it by 4, that gets us about 12.2 minutes. So it took 12.2 minutes to decay from 120 grams to 7.5. Four different half-lives, each half-life is 3.05 minutes. You can kind of see it's like a story problem. Um, if you need to set up the charts and the arrows, uh, please do it. It does help to kind of divide it by two each time, see how many half-lives there were, and the time it takes for each one. One more example. All right, so 100 grams of carbon-14 decays until only 25 grams remains, and that takes 11,460 years for this to occur. So we want to know how many half-lives did the carbon-14 sample undergo, and then what exactly is the half-life of carbon-14. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is figure out how many half-lives it's going to take us to go from 100 down to 25. So after one half-life, there's 50 grams left. And that we don't really know how long that is, so we'll just call that X for now. And then after two half-lives, there's 25 grams left. So we've gotten to our desired 25, and it's taken two half-lives, or... Those two half-lives have taken 11,460 years. So to figure out what X is in years, it's been two half-lives, and the total time was 11,460, so X times 2 equals 11,460. X ends up being 5,730 years. Okay, so this kind of went backwards from the last problem. We had the total time, and we wanted to know what each individual half-life was. 5,730 years. <laughs> one more. I think I said one more last time. <laughs> okay, this is this is for real. One more. So really one more. Now. Really one more. Maybe. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years. Hey, we just solved for that. How much of a 144-gram sample will remain after 22,920 years? Mm. Ooh, now I have the total time and the half-life. Something you always want to do in these problems, you always want to figure out how many half-lives you have. If we have 5,730 years, that's one half-life, and we know that the total is going to be 22,900 years, we want to know how many half-lives it went through. So okay. get out your calculators. You can kind of estimate that in your head. That looks like about four yeah. half-lives. Four half-lives, yeah. So it went through four half-lives. So I set up my chart to see how much would be left after four half-lives. After the first one, each or each half-life is going to take 5,730 years. That's my 22,000 total. Uh, and then each half-life I just divide by half. Start out with 144, 72. 72 divided by 2, half of that will be gone, and I get 36. Half of 36 is 18. Half of 18 is 9. So after 22,000 years, your 144-gram sample will be down to just 9 grams. So that pretty much wraps it up. That's about that's pretty much all the types of problems you're going to have to do with Half-Life. There's going to be one more example, though. Just kidding. Oh. Um, but <laughs> you do serious. need to watch out. We can also talk about these. You can do these with percentages. Instead of starting with 144 grams, you would start out with 100%. You can do them with fractions. Um, you start out with one, and then you get a half. Half of a half is a fourth. Half of a fourth is an eighth. You'll see things like that as well, but the concept is still the same. Each half-life you get half of what you had the first to start with.